NFL, you know you're not slick, right? You know you're not slick, right? I, I see what you're doing. I, I I saw it from jump. As soon as I saw the schedule, I said, I know what y'all are doing. The Ravens and Bengals, their playoff game is scheduled for Sunday Night Football next week. One week from tonight. It's at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm excited about that because I love primetime games. And a primetime playoff game, ooh, that's, that's going to be fun. But... You know, L Lamar's status has been in limbo for a while now, for a really long time, and it's still in limbo. Um, and it's one of those things we, we won't know till we know. We can hear rumors and reports and this and that, but come Wednesday, Wednesday is going to be where we start to get some more answers finally. But um, with the, the NFL, it seemed like they, they pushed this game as far back as they possibly could without offending Skip Bayless, of course, because, you know, Skip Bayless, like he gets to see his two teams play each other on Monday night. So it's no other games on Monday night. It's just Skip Bayless, Tom Brady's versus Skip Bayless, Cowboys. So he gets to dedicate the whole day to preparing for that game and watching that game. And he probably going to be pacing back and forth, stressed out because his two his two teams playing against each other. But anyway. The NFL, they pushed this game as far back as they possibly could in hopes that Lamar would be healthy so he could have as much time to heal as he possibly could because, hey, like, the game today was interesting and it was a lot of starters that rested and the Ravens committed a lot of turnovers that really helped the Bengals Like, because when, oh, we'll talk about that game tomorrow in the post-game thoughts video. But anyway, Ravens fans, we hoping that Lamar is back. NFL, they are also hoping that Lamar is back. So they pushed it as far out as they possibly could. But I ain't got no problem with that. I got zero problem with it. I'm excited for it. Like I said, I love primetime football. So next Sunday, next Sunday night, excuse me, not next Sunday, next Sunday night at Paycor Stadium, baby. Ravens coming to town again. I mean, they could just stay there the whole week if they wanted, but no, yeah, go, go home. Go get some rest, relax. And get ready to come back to practice. Do your little walkthrough on Tuesday, then come Wednesday. Hey, that's where it gets real, man. So um, let's just go over the other playoff games real quick, too. Because uh, NFL, you're not slick. We see what you're doing. Because Saturday, the first playoff game was at 430, the 49ers and the Seahawks. NFL was like, man, let's let's knock the boring game out the way. <laughs> let's get, let's get, eliminate that from jump. Let's, let's get it out the way. Get the boring game out the way. Uh, and then the Chargers and Jaguars, that's on Saturday night. That should be a fun one. That should be a really fun one. Because uh, that boy T-Law, that boy's something serious, man. And, and Herbert, this is, I mean, this is both of their first playoff game. Uh, so, yeah, hey, somebody's got to get their first playoff win. Somebody got to get it. These two young quarterbacks going head to head. Uh, so, Sunday early on is Dolphins-Bills. NFL was like, look, Dolphins, ah, yeah, mm, ah. With Tua, we don't know what his status is going to be. If he doesn't, if he plays, great for us. But if he doesn't play, all right, that'll be the first Sunday game. Knock it out. Get it out the way. And then the Giants and Vikings, they were like, okay, this game should be a little more competitive because it's the, the second most boring game based off of the, the teams that's playing on Sunday. And then with Ravens and Bengals, they really hoping that Lamar is back. They really hoping that Lamar is back because if they knew for sure that Lamar wasn't coming back, they, they would have put this one first. They would have put this one at 1 o'clock on Sunday. I, get, I guarantee you, man. They would have put it. But anyway, uh, and then, of course, on Monday night, uh, the Cowboys and the Bucks, man. So it, it, it's playoff time. It's, I mean, it's already been real. Ravens finished 10-7. and seven, made, They made the playoffs, had an opportunity to fight for the AFC North, but came up a little short, and there was some other stuff that contributed to that as well. But um, we're here now. This is a new season. Uh, hopefully the Ravens can come out playing new football and they can be just a brand new team in a good way, in a good way. Um, but, hey, we'll see how it goes. But, yes, next Sunday night, I'm excited. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Ravens are in the playoffs. And, cause again, I'm just thinking about last year and how last year went and how Ravens were in the playoffs at one point last year, and then everything went downhill. Now, this year, they made it to the playoffs, and things have been just going all over the place, but that's the Baltimore Ravens, and that's how we know how they like to get down. They just like to be all over the place. Um, but hopefully, they can take care of business uh, this Sunday night. 
Um, it's gonna be a fun week. We got a very busy week for y'all, so make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on. I'm sure we'll have some special guests to talk, some ravens and bingles, and it, it's gonna be a great week, man. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. And just like 18 out of 32 teams are when it comes to being in the playoffs, I'm out.